the most famous chess set in world history. These are the Isle of Lewis chessmen. This is a replica, of course. Here is the king with his sword, crown, and throne. Some of the Celtic imagery on the side, of course, indicate to us that these are from the northern British Isles, uh, from Scotland, the Isle of Lewis. This is the bishop, a replica of the bishop with his hand in a benediction uh, blessing with his staff and hat. So let's travel to the United Kingdom to see the Isle of Lewis chessmen, originally from Scotland, the Northwestern Isle of Lewis. Here they are, the Lewis chessmen, the most famous chess set in the whole world, carved from walrus ivory. Some of these really beautiful pieces. Uh, you can recognize maybe the uh, the knight, the berserker warrior, not the knight, sorry, but the rook. What we would call the rook here is a berserker warrior biting on his shield, showing the frenzy of battle. The pawns themselves are just uh, un unremarkable, no faces. A, uh, a peasant who had no name or record in the history books, just kind of sent off to fight a rich king's war. Uh, it's the queen usually that's the most famous to look at. We can see her here, kind of leaning on her hand in that famous pose. Well, chess is supposed to be two different colors. And it is, uh, but this is one side with a stained red with a red dye, and that since kind of uh, faded away throughout history. Uh, these are, you know, essentially an 800-year-old chess set. Uh, it was discovered in about 1831, and they're approximately 800 years old from the 1200s. Imagine carving that from the tusk of a, from the ivory tusk of a walrus. From the Isle of Lewis in Scotland, these are most likely a Viking creation because the Scot Scottish Isles were essentially occupied by the Vikings at that period of history. The very northwest reaches of Scotland. Let's end by zooming in, perhaps, on the most powerful piece on the board. Queen, and next to her, 